okay guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is Shea steven additional and um i appreciate if this is your first time of coming across my channel to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell okay on the matter we do on ground and are based on Mackenzie issue with um igwe danny singh yes so these two guys have been friends and um brothers and they've been running this business of Mackenzie together all of a sudden the guy come out with his own talk now say Mackenzie the drum will do according to what in talk so guys make na make a loan and make na hear what the brother man they talk about whether now to find Mackenzie call and face make him to come talk you won't matter or what this guy talk not true whether Emanuela will come out truly to debunk this story or not all right I thank every one of you for having me on this show uh, my name is Dennis Nigui. Uh, I'm a comedian. Actually, I was the one that started my Kenjai comedy. How it started was I came to do, I was an orphan. And then Mark was the elder brother of the house. He's a, he's a security in Kilimanjaro, GRU, Potakot. I do camera work for, like, I was learning camera. There's a man called Defying. So I stole the camera. Not like I stole it finished. <laughs> like on our own free time, I would do those comedy. So Mark's okay. Let us create a Facebook page. And I said, okay. So we are coming, then we'll say mechanic picture present. So I just keep doing this stuff. So suddenly, 2014, he bought a car. I said, how did you even get money to buy a car? He said, somebody gave it to him. I said, okay, fine. And the thing is, I've not received 1,000 since that time. Oh. So Emanuela came into the scene. There was a time they traveled to Australia. I was with them. Oh. The visa came. He said, I won't go to Australia. Then the people said, he, he, they want only Emanuela. I said, okay, but you, you will go. He said, yes, because then we never had anything like manager. He's the manager. He's everything. I said, okay, so they left for Australia. I was still, I edited video because after then I've learned how to edit. I edited video and still posted why they were in Australia. He came back. I said, Afa, they don't give me money. He said, just we need to pay. He said, they promote us. So they give him a princess of comedy. He said, I just promotion. Uh, but they do. That was the time we did one Android home something. Yes. Uh, for, uh, yes, for yes, Abuja, yes. Okay. Uh, then I said, now nah, they call, let me do for this thing. They call, um, I mean, they call Bros. Nidu. Then why they don't go give us money? And they put us for uh, uh, what G-Wagon then, uh, Nigeria yes. carry us to go. Yes. Uh, this, why do you give us money? He said, the people know they give money for this thing. <laughs> say, nah, uh, oh. as in, as in, the, the more we go this thing, the more, say, time they come, the time we go start to get money. Because so he started paying Emanuela like 20,000 20, every month. You know, we, we were poor. So the parents were just people staying in a bacha. And this Emanuela is just, so they don't even know the value. Nobody knows what this thing is just bringing. So the Limak bought like one acre of land, I think 10 plot of land then. And I was like, guy, where did you see money? Said 2016 was the first time he gave me 50,000 naira. He said, okay, just hold this one. Eh? I know this is the day. You know this is the day. Bring money. A ratio of what you guys make a, a, every month, and oh. we're making 160 thousand dollars then. No, oh. Jesus. So see, the only person that can talk about him now is me, because why? Me, I'm an orphan. He can't kill me. People say if you talk about him, you die. He, okay, you see what he does. Eh? I was scared mm. because he will just finish you. That's the truth. How it will happen? If you have a problem with him, is either you die or you have accident. I was in my house. B entered my house. Mm. B, yes, bees, no bees. I came out to play football, bat. You know bat now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Started pushing only me, like we're menu playing the football. Ladies and gentlemen, introduction of the amazing quartet. I'm going to begin by my immediate rights. The Gen Z body, baby girl of Lagos. Yeah, baby girl. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, her Ooh. voice brings all the boys to the yard. Yeah. When she says yes, please stop, they will begin to rush. Some people will look at an episode and say, no tone, no watching. <laughs> we beg you, please. We know she is, but please, just. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Hi, Tommy. Happy New Week. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ada Zulezu www.asankbokoto.com The light has come <laughs> by the special grace of God Incoming! I it in. Ladies and gentlemen, Jellof always Jellof in beautiful, Her. delectable He's in the Jellof, Zini Posh He's in the mama! He's giving legal Legal? He's giving cheap rice meat He's giving cheap rice meat He's giving it to you registry <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have heard the voice of the salt Hmm. The man who you might not see it, but he's always wearing bulletproof. Yeah. Get it? <laughs> when things are happening here, or things are not happening here, he's on the trend table. Get it? Those who want to drag don't see where they can hold any longer. <laughs> you try, you will never succeed. <laughs> the one and the only man of great wisdom, mm -hmm. man of enchanting physiognomy, many, many degrees, degrees and characters, and characters. And, so and, and I must add, a man who has received. The prestigious proclamation mm. for mm. Prince George County <laughs> in the United States of America. Get it! 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 Get it!
What's up, guys? What's up, guys? So they won't come proclaim that you can't come on your cap. Come on, come on, cap. Yes, that. Come on, cap. You know, do you know what it means? Yes, it means. For you. So we are really very grateful for your support, and we like the fact that every time you keep pushing us to create great content. I'm very certain. By the way, by the way, shout out to husband material. Eh? Okay, Muno Oko. Yeah. This is it. Content on the IC. I work at home. Let me. Eh? Eh? What? What? You are too humble. I don't like that for you. Anyway, don't like my my my. my <laughs> I, I will forget to my my birthday na next Monday, August five. Oh, not true. Mm. We have a special edition. Don't worry. Yes, sir. I sponsor the. Just tell me what you want. <laughs> <laughs> I go be like whiskey, daddy. I no go post. <laughs> you, know. you, cannot, you cannot do it. You can you people go drag you tired. So, ladies and gentlemen, our conversation is going to be very very deep. At some point, it will get very emotional. But it's important that we keep our eyes on the prize. Mm. Now, there are so many people who are caught up in this situation and not too many are bold enough to tell their story. It is going to be one where you would learn and most importantly, you're also going to... Um, it, will, it will get you thinking so that when next you take certain steps, you will take the right steps and not get yourself into trouble. So that would make me introduce our guest. Our first guest is a barrister and solicitor of the Supreme Court of Nigeria. If not be waiting jam, do me. She would have been my learned colleague. <laughs> <laughs> but why you write jam four times? Oh, Salim, God will judge you. I will not see your results. Anything they give you, you will manage. Now, she plays a major role in an industry that has become the center of focus when we talk about entertainment in Nigeria. So many young people are involved in this industry and they are doing their best to teach people the right steps to take so that they do not fall into bigger problems ahead. When we begin the conversation, you would understand more. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Barista Koforola Eze. Thank you, guys. Thank you for well, having um, me. My lord, <laughs> madam, may I? You may. Yeah, I may. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our next guest is... Our next guest... Mm. Mm. Hmm. Right on, Papa. Right on, Papa. Go deeper, Daddy. Our next guest hmm. was the face of a particular movement. And that movement was a wave that swept depression, sorrow, and pain from the hearts of so many Nigerians. This wave took these names to the length and breadth of the world. As far as Australia, hmm. as near as our sister African country, Ghana. Ghana. These young men through sweat, tears, sleepless nights, and blood brought so much joy into our hearts. But something happened. What exactly happened? We'll get into that. But this young man is a super creative, super talented. You might recognize the face. You will definitely know the voice. And when we get into the story, you'll be touched. Make some noise. For Daniel Sinigwe! I get you both. Hey, you are welcome. This is your voice. You not get anybody when they say they watch video skits from... That early 2000, the early 2010s, 2012, 2013, 2014, when they reach that 2015, 16, when no go sabi this face and when no go sabi this voice, the baby don't come too plenty now. Yes, you know, that but, not get baby. but if you, if you, when we get into the story, you definitely understand. So I think a very good place to begin is who is Daniel Sin Igwe? All right, I thank every one of you for having me on this show. Uh, my name is Daniel Sin Igwe. Uh, I'm a comedian. Actually, I was the one that started my Kenjian comedy. How it started was I came to do, I was an orphan. So my sister took me to Mark's house and um, I started staying with them. As I then I was 12 years old. So I do talk like I'm somebody that likes talking something that because I like Ucho Boago. You know, when we're growing up, yeah, it's my Ucho Ucho Boago. Boago, yes. yes. So I do listen to Ucho Boago. Yes. So I started making jokes from there in the house. And then Mark was the elder brother of the house. He's a, he's a security in Kilimanjaro, GRA, Portacourt. So one day, I, uh, a friend of mine told me a story of how he took the sister's hanky. He wanted to take the sister's hanky, so he mistakenly took pants <laughs> instead of the hanky. So when Mark came back, I told Mark about it. He said he's not interested. So then uh, there's a church called Glorious Faith. That church is at Oibo. I do camera work for like I was learning camera. There's a man called Ifine. Mm. He's the head of camera department in the church. Mm. So I was just looking at it as a small boy. So when he said the camera, he said, "Look at it. I'm coming." So I was just there doing the thing. So I said, okay, let me hire the camera. Let me collect the camera. So I stole the camera. Not like I stole it finished. <laughs> like I stole like the I camera. Stole it stole it <laughs> I stole the camera. I came home. We did that first comedy. And Mark saw that it was good. He said, okay. The punk comedy. Yes, the punk achieve comedy. I did another one. Don't shoot me. Then the thing was not even going, you know, like nothing like uh, YouTube or Facebook. Mm. So I just keep doing it because I like it. Because when I do it, I share it to my friends and they just like it. I said, okay, I will be doing this thing. Then I was still selling for Mark's mom. I was selling rice and beans in her shop. To her blessed memory because she's late now. Mm. 
Okay. So we started doing it, doing it, doing it. So one day, there's one man called Honest TV. He said he liked this thing that I'm doing. That if I can come and be doing it in his bar. I said, uh, I, you know, I was shy. I can't even crack joke. I don't even know how to crack joke. I said, I can't crack. So I should just be coming there. Mm. So I just start coming to the bar. The man gave me 10,000. 10, mm. So when I came back, I told Mark. Mark said, good. Though. So he stopped working at that Kilimanjaro as a den. Mm. He said, okay, don't worry. I'll be shooting for you. So he, he doesn't know much about, we don't, we don't even know much about camera. So we just keep doing it like that. T with the camera wait if yes no not like i told you like i'm a cameraman in the church like okay. when i go and collect it yes. okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the pastor doesn't know that i collect the camera <laughs> <laughs> so, we just keep doing it like that so one time he said he will create and that time we, we said okay we'll name this thing mechanic pictures we started when we started doing this much more comedy people like ezd maxi i don't know if you know maxi in Porter called ezd started saying okay let's shoot musical video for them you know those kind of low budget mm, musical video that you mm. can't even collect much uh -huh. so we start doing it i started doing what we call light and sound like i will set up this mm, lights mm. yes so we're doing it then on our own free time i will do those comedy so max okay let us create a facebook page and that's okay so we are coming then we'll say mechanic picture present two sheet don't shoot me like the name of the comedy that's yeah, how we do it yeah. okay so one time that mark posted it on facebook and the thing has a lot of views mm. he said okay fine we'll keep doing this thing and me i don't even know what is monetization or whatever thing so he created an account on youtube 2013 i started doing this company 2011. Mm. he created an account 2013. so i don't even know when it was monetized or anything so i just keep doing this stuff so suddenly 2014 he bought a car i said ah, how did you even get money to buy a car he said somebody gave it to him i said okay fine and the thing is i've not received one thousand since that time so Emmanuel i came into the scene uh, Emmanuel, okay max mother went to church Mark Mother, uh, she's a member of um, M, uh, Missionary Bible Church. Um, that's what we call it. Missionary Bible Church in you know, NBC. Yes, NBC. So the mother, the mother of Emanuela and the mother of Mark mm. um, goes to the same church. Me, I don't pull them to the church mm. because I'm a boy boy now. On Sunday, you have to clear grass, do all that thing. Mm. So there's no even chance going to church. So I don't go to church. So one day, Emanuela started disturbing uh, Ma, uh, Mark's mom. I want to follow you to the house. We have a, a public holiday. Mark Mother said no the first time, the first Sunday. So the girl just keep disturbing so she came to the house and that girl can talk <laughs> the girl can talk for no reason so one day i, I had a joke of mess who mess who mess was the first comedy of emanuela i i said you must do this thing and if you don't do it i will flog you because nobody was at home so uh, emanuela did it and he came and people started saying who is this girl blah, blah, blah. so i did another one but man did not post that one before he now did one they called landlord is the landlord around and he did it he said i should stop acting with emanuela that he wants to build a brand called emanuela and the uncle that we should remove the mechanic picture in fact we should call it mackenzie comedy i said okay you know he's the elder brother and i'm saying in the house i can't even mm. doubt what he said and i don't even know as i then i don't even know this thing brings money or anything there's money in it because then internet was not that uh big Booming, to yeah. the years so we just keep doing the thing and the thing he started leaving me okay when they called us there was a time they traveled to australia i was with them oh, the visa came he said i won't go to australia then the people said he, he they want only emanuela I said, okay, but you, you will go. He said, yes, because then we never had anything like manager. He's the manager, he's everything. I said, okay, so they left for Australia. I was still, I edited video because as I then I've learned how to edit. I edited video and still posted while they were in Australia. He came back. I said, Afa, they don't give me money. He said, just we need to pay. Say they promote us. Say they give him a princess of comedy. Say I just promotion. Mm. Okay. Then the parents started noticing what is happening. 2016, parents came up and said, you must sign. I have the contract. You must sign a contract with us. Because so he started paying my like 20,000 20, every month. Mm. Yes, as I then, 20,000 20, every month. We're still going. The parents were poor now. They were, you know, we we were poor. So the parents were just people staying in a bacha. And this Emanuela is just so they don't even know the value. Nobody knows what this thing is just bringing. So the Mark bought like one hectare of land, I think ten plot of land. Then, and I was like, guy, where did they see money? Self, where did they get all this money? He said uh, the uncle from abroad, which I don't know. You know, there was a story. He said he traveled to India to learn camera. He had never traveled to India at that time because we don't even have international passport. The first time we traveled was Ghana, and that was that 2016. They called us and said we should come to Ghana. And the reason why I went to that Ghana with them, the people insisted that our three, because then it's our three that is doing the comedy, nobody else. So we they gave us money to do passport. We did passport and we traveled to uh, Ghana then. That was how we went to Ghana. When we came back from Ghana, I asked him, Afana, these people they pay person. He said, you know, so he gave me 2016 was the first time he gave me 50,000 naira. He said, okay, just hold this one. Eh? I know this day, you know this day they bring money, but subsequently I will give you money. I said, okay, fine. Boss, I don't know if you remember, boss, they do. That was the time we did one Android home something. Yes. For, for, yes, for yes, yes, okay. Uh -huh. Then I said, now nah, they call Lamide for this thing. They call, um, I mean, they call boss, they do. Then why they don't give us money? And they put us for uh, uh, what you are going to do. Now you are going to carry us to go. Yes. Uh, this is, why do you give us money? He said the people know they give money for this thing. <laughs> say now, nah, uh, oh. as in, as the, the more we go this thing, the more say time they come, the time we will start to get money. And they pay plenty of money for that in that time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now me, I don't know. And the thing is, I don't, I don't go close to the people. I just stay with Emanuela. And we've been, we begin to a lot of show. Abolo versus Abolo. People having. And there was a time we traveled to Gambia, the Gambia. 
the person that invited us to, to the Gambia was the president, a uh, uh, sister. I we even met the president. Even whiskey, on that on that particular time, they gave whiskey forty thousand USD. Because mm. how we got to hear, I got, I got to hear it is they were just talking about it, just like artists, just like when I came to the studio, mm. artists who gather, uh, just that kind of. So I just overheard it. So I asked him, Nafa, nah, this Gambia said they don't give us. But the president give the, the name of the president was John Mahama. Mm. Then I don't, I think he's John Mahama is Ghana, isn't it? No, not John yeah. Mahama is Ghana. Yeah, yeah, Jami uh, was Gambia. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, yeah, so yeah, not, uh, he's, he's a Muslim. Sorry, yeah, yeah, Jami. Yeah, yeah, Jami. Yes, so not John Mahama. Yes, we, we met John Mahama then too. So the man, I don't. The, when we came, man say the man said he wants to meet only him and Emmanuela. I said, okay, fine. I will stay as I saw. They met indoor and I don't know what they talked about. They came and said, Alpha, the man, no, still give us money. He said, the man gave them $5,000. Okay. Saying, go give me $100 inside here. Mm. And then me, I was happy because, mm. you know, you've not seen money before and you saw $100. Even the money, I did not even use it. I just, I was just holding it. I don't want to use it at all because I don't want the money to just go like that. Now, 2019, I had a child. Not like I planned it, but I had a child, I had a son. So I told him, guy, you don't need to be good to pay me so that I go feed it, take care of my picking. I'm not going to feed it like this. I do this thing. And the thing is, eh, this comedy we do, eh, I do the lightning. There was a time I fell from up where I was doing pastor studies. Like I climbed up, I fell. Mark never gave me money to treat my leg. Even to today, this my left leg is bad because I love playing football. I can't play football again because of this leg. So we are just doing this. So that night I said, you know, I have a child now. He said, okay, he will put me on salary of 200,000. I said, okay, fine. So he started paying me 200,000 and I was okay with it. So one day they invited us to Guyana. And this was just every Guyana, that country. Yeah. Guyana, Guyana yeah. is a Caribbean country. Yeah. Guyana, yes. We've been to many countries that I can't even mention. Bo so they invite both Jamaica. We went to Jamaica now. So they invited us to Guyana. And in all this country where they go, you I know, they received one naira. Like I don't even know the the first time I received dollar from me is hundred dollar. And that was one he gave me. He said that I should just when we went to Gamb the Gambia. So when uh, when we went to that was uh, went to uh, visa interview. I don't want to mention the more the person. He said, Why is your shoe? Rotten like this. I say, I know not go feed you 200,000. They feed my family. Still, they buy new, new shoe. Because they, they, apart from, apart from that money, that 200,000, they, 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 they give us any other money. Like, no, or nothing like that. Nothing like money. Even in Manila, father, there was a time Mark arrested in Manila, brother. Not the brother, like the, um, the, like cousin. You know, now the father is not learned. The mother is not learned now. So they don't know how much the thing is bringing. But sometimes they will just flame up. He will give them 1 million. It, it was when I left. So when we went to the visa, the person said, Why is your shoe rotten like this? I said, I know go feed you 200,000. They feed my family. Also, they, Change shoe. Change shoe. The person say, okay, how much did they pay you? Can wait, you know, fees? You will not get money like this. Because at that time, the YouTube, it was now, I know, because somebody, that, it was that day, the person told me, go and check what is social bleed. It can give you at least a ratio of what you guys make every month. And mm -hmm. we're making $160,000 then. Jesus. No. So, the, I told the person, he said, how much did they pay you? So, immediately he was asking me that, the man came, the person touched me not to talk. So when the person left, he called me once. I said, how much did they pay you? I said, 200,000. He said, God forbid. The person called him and said, why did they pay you? He said, they save money for our future. <laughs> so he was saving money for us, for our future. That he don't want uh, now, uh, tomorrow now, we'll say uh, there's no money. So that when we grow, so okay, fine. We don't, I just keep, even I didn't go to that Guyana because of that very event. So I said, you must give me money. He said, okay, that I will sign that I don't have anything to do with him. I don't, I'm not the owner of the comedy. I will sign. I signed though. Hmm. Yeah, I signed then. And he gave me 10 million. But that 10 million, he paid me like five times. He would just stay one month. He gave me 1 million. Just, he would just do it like that. So, that, so I signed then. So I told him, okay, after uh, 2020, he, uh, you heard, I don't know if you heard when they say, man, I built a house. Yes. The reason he did that thing is he knew I will come up and I will come up. And the thing is, he was managing my Instagram page, my YouTube, like all our page. He was the one, even in my, cannot, when you hear Manala post anything, Manala cannot post anything. Mark, Imala is living in, in Mark's house, even till now. And there's a lot of things going on in Mark's house that is very wrong because Manala is now grown. <laughs> He's living in Mark's house. The parents can't even carry Manuela because Mark created this. There was a time people even called me. No people name this because say, get me Manuela. Mark made it in a way that Manuela can't even live. There's a boy you know, named Chukwe Mek. I don't know if you know one small boy, first small boy that we act with. He's uh, 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 Manuela's junior brother. But because of his the same family, he said no. He dumped that one totally. That boy is grown now. That boy is not doing anything. So we just keep doing this thing. So 2020, uh, I learned that Manuela built a house for the family, which Manuela don't even know how much is blocked. I met Manuela, that was last month. Because I had this, uh, I, we, when, this, when I made a video on YouTube, I posted about this thing. People called me, Lucky Udu. Um, uh, very, I, I messaged very dark man. He said he would talk to Mark that uh, I left too early. Very dark man said I left too early. He chatted me on, he said I left too early, that I wouldn't have left. Uh, when I, when Lucky Udu called me that he wants to come and interview me, immediately Mark flew to Abuja. And because Lucky Udu based in Abuja. Lucky Udu, they, I don't know what the meeting. So after the meeting, Lucky Udu told me that uh, I should just relax. That this is not something, after they, after they had that meeting, I should just relax. This is not something I should just come up and talk. That Mark was said to me, Mark, so we had a meeting, Mark gave me 500,000 that I should stop disturbing him, that there is no money, that he is now into uh, crypto and forest trading, that this comedy thing is no longer bringing income. And besides that, uh, he gave me 10 million then. So why would I, do I even think that uh, since we started this comedy, if he has made 10 million before, 
Mm-hmm. I said, okay, fine. Then I told him, see, okay, you will stop posting my video. You stop posting my videos so that, uh, because he keep, even he had, we have like eight YouTube page on YouTube. We have Makenja TV. Just different YouTube page he created. He, we own it. Like Makenja Comedy owned the YouTube page. Even in Manila's uh, Facebook is monetized. Success Facebook is monetized. He, he was the, my own Facebook. He took it over. Like he changed the name. Uh, to Makenja TV. So I now created a new Facebook. And the thing is, when I left Makenja Comedy, that week, they hacked my YouTube page, hacked my Facebook page, hacked my Instagram page. Since that time, I don't know, they said uh, it's on Shadow Shad- 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 Band or something like that. I don't even know. What, it doesn't go forward. It doesn't go backwards. Since that 2019 to now, that thing, they have not added one or two. It's just there like that. So uh, it was even somebody that, say, that encouraged me to say, make this video, guy. Talk this thing. This guy, they oppress you. And the thing is, eh, he's, he's the richest comedian. No? If you come to where Mark stays, in in Portacourt, eh? I don't think like there's football pitch inside the house. There's basketball court. There is club. The, but if you see, where, okay, what? You want to house for the family, but Mark cannot be the house for the family. If you see where Mark's mother, uh, Mark's father stays, the truth is, eh? The day Mark's mother died, hmm? I was with Mark's mother. I was crying high in my hands. Mark said he's coming. He's going to church. That that time, I think they were having this five night of glory. I don't know if you know something like that. In, in, yes. So he left immediately. It was not up to an hour. The mother died. I called Mark and said, Mommy, don't, because all of us will call her Mommy. Mommy, don't die. You. So, and why I'm saying this thing is, that is because even the, at the burial, Mark did not come to the burial. I was the one that carried the mom to go and bury. Mark was in town, no? he started to tell people that he traveled to Australia. Mm-hmm. Now, he, I heard, it was even the research that I heard that he said that time, because when I said it, somebody said, No, he said they kidnap him. He didn't even post the mother dead. He didn't even come to the burial. I was the one that carried the mother. And Mark's brother, me, they, they were three. The name is Odi Chima and Rosita. The girl is just giving birth up and down. You know, when you hear his Mark's uh, sister, you rush now, but nothing. The house they stay is inside water and it's the mother that built it. Then how come Imanala built a house for the mother? The reason why Imanala built a house for the mother is because he thought maybe if I go, and you know, now Imanala is a child, they call her Maino. So if I go and talk, this is the only way uh, they can hold him. Hmm. I want to ask, um, wow, well, this is a lot. <coughs> I, I, I don't even know where to start from. Now, um, this story, um, you guys started since what, what, what year? I started 2011. Him, he started acting 2013. 2013. Yes. So you started, I mean, you guys started staying together. You started staying with them. 28. 20, 2008. Yes. Um, that was when he was, uh, Mark was a security at, at Kilimanjaro Manjaro, in yes. Port Harcourt. Yes. Uh, but Mark didn't have anything um, about acting. He no, not no, acting. So no. you were the one that was yes. the acting and all those things. And all through then, Every two one that they do, from what you don't talk, shame, buying cobble, not enter your hand. Uh, and yes. and um, um, the only time money got into your hand was 2019, 2019, one ago, yes. Gambia. Yes. And he said that they uh, yeah, yeah, give you guys $5,000 yes. and he gave you $100 yes. from the $5,000. Anyway, you do. I, I, I don't want to ask you. You have a proof of that, but that's that's for another day. Now, um, when you guys wanted to go to Guyana, he asked um, uh, uh, where you una, according to him, on a see not the sea money. Person can say make you go check bleeding. Say una they make one hundred sixty thousand dollars monthly. Yes. As at when? Wow. Twenty sixteen. As wow. at twenty sixteen, you yes. guys were making one hundred sixty thousand dollars monthly. Yes. And you were not getting a dime. Hmm. Did you go to check the bleed? Did you go to check? I, I, I even today t- t- I'm checking it every day. That's why the thing. Like when I remember the thing. The last time you checked, how much you guys make monthly? Now we make uh, close to ninety thousand dollars every month. Yes. Wow. Now, social bleed. You can check social bleed. Jesus Christ. Now is it the ninety thousand? The, the, the ninety thousand dollars is it for all the accounts? I've been mean, at one account. Just one account. Yo, and how many do I get? Eight we have eight. Facebook will have like five accounts too. And Facebook wow. will have more followers than mm-hmm. YouTube. Facebook. So do you know how much you guys make on I don't even want to talk about it because he, he doesn't want to get me involved on the Facebook matter. So it's just YouTube I'm talking about. Jeez. One account on YouTube, you guys make ninety thousand dollars monthly. You can <laughs> confirm so that it won't be like just use social blade. I can spell it for you so you check. But you see, hmm. I mean uh, this is sad. It's very sad, but um I, yo. I, I, I don't even know where it's come from. But for me, um, this is all you are saying. We don't, how, how are we sure that everything you're saying is the truth of what happened? Because when I, went, when I got, I, there was a time I went live on Instagram, I asked him to come on live so that we can talk about this. So I don't be like, I'm lying. And the truth is, uh, if not for God and the fact that, you know me, the part I'm thinking about is if the mother did not bring me to their house, I think there will be nothing like comedy. So I'm thinking of that part that they helped me remove mm-hmm. me from the street. That was why, because people have told me to do a lot of things that I would have done to him 